it normal for scientists who are supposedly doing independent research to get together and talk about how the how their conclusions are going to come out? Thank you for the question, Senator Hawley. Um, I. I think in general, yes, it is quite common for scientists, while they're in the process of doing research, to discuss um, with colleagues the and other scientists. I do not believe that the um, uh, that is an accurate description of the conversations that took place. Dr. Gary testified under oath that he was coming to his conclusions while this paper was being written. He was discovering the answers. But we now know that your boss was on the phone with him saying this is a very destructive conspiracy. Conspiracy! Before the paper was even written. Because we now have the private correspondence from Dr. Fauci. Why was your office so intent on pushing to the public the idea that this could not possibly have been a lab issue. Is it because that NIH was actually funding, helping to fund, EcoHealth was funding gain-of-function research? Did NIH fund gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology through EcoHealth? Yes, we did. That's the NIH deputy director making a startling admission to Congress yesterday. They're taking animal viruses and trying to make them more pathogenetic to the to a human being in other words more lethal more dangerous towards human beings and that's the bottom line we're definitely funding the very type of research that can lead to a human pathogen like COVID-19. Let me come back to my original question why was your office so intent on shutting down any talk about this being involved with a lab why I don't understand it my understanding of the situation is that the um, no one at NIH, including Dr. Collins, Dr. Fauci, myself, ever suggested that there wasn't the possibility that a virus had escaped from a lab. Oh, that's ridiculous. I think that I mean, that is, let me just stop you right there. I just can't, I cannot have these lies. Sorry, and wrong. And wrong. You people repeatedly, repeatedly said it could not have come from a lab. Your boss said it was a very destructive conspiracy. And based on that, you censored and your administration that you worked for actively censored scientists, journalists. And now you've been caught red handed because you, you, thought that the rest of us wouldn't find out. You thought that the public would always be kept in the dark. You were acting as propagandists. We're pushing this propaganda effort and yet claiming the mantle of science. Do you regret your role in any of this? Do you regret it? I do not believe I ever had the role that you're describing. Do you regret your role in helping censor millions of Americans who were kicked off social media, who were disciplined at work, for saying that maybe a lab was involved. Do you regret not opposing the censorship? Do you regret it? You're in a position I, of tremendous influence. I do not believe censorship took place, sir. You don't believe censorship took place? I do not. What world are you living in? You were the chief of staff at the NIH pushing these conspiracies, pushing the effort to shut down Americans, and now you have the gall to sit here and say censorship never took place. I mean, it's unbelievable.